Hello everyone, this is the pre-market report video for today, 18th July 2024 for the near stock market in terms of Nifty and Bank Nifty. Yesterday, because we had our market holiday, now we got two days of completely contrasting global momentum. If required, please pause and have a look. The left side snip is the US market close on last Tuesday night, whereas the right snip is the last night price action. As we see here, Tuesday night, the US market closed positive for two reasons. One, retail sales data for June remained unchanged, whereas in May, retail sales increased by 0.3% compared to April. This is straightforwardly bad macro data as retail sales haven't increased, which in turn increased the rate cut probability to near 90% in the upcoming FOMC meeting in September. On top of that, Bank of America delivered very good results, which in turn made that stock to increase by over 5%. All these factors made the US market positive on Tuesday night. Dow Jones increased nearly 2%. However, this positivity was not seen in S&P 500 and Nasdaq, but they still closed to positive with VIX increasing. Then coming to last night, due to the US election politics, there was a report released by Bloomberg that the Biden administration is considering imposing more taxes or more restrictions on US companies for exporting critical chip making equipment to China. This in crashed all the semiconductor and mega cap stocks. For example, Nvidia dropped 6%, Taiwan Semiconductor dropped 8% and the mega cap stocks were down between 1.5 to 6%. Basically, yesterday in US, it was disastrous for Nasdaq, which was down over 500 points or 2.75%, roughly equal to drop of 700 points in Nifty. However, because of banking and financial stocks, S&P 500 dropped only around 1.5% and in fact, Dow Jones was able to close above 41,000 for the first time. In case of VIX, in two days it increased by 15% and moved near 14.5 from around 12.5. So it's like having hot and cold at the same time, Dow Jones continued its positive run while the Nasdaq hit the ground. In line with that, Gift Nifty went from 24,660 on Tuesday at the time of closing to 24,770 yesterday early morning. But because of last night's Nasdaq weakness, today early morning it again dropped back to 24,660 range. This means for now, today Gift Nifty indicating the flat to negative opening. Coming to Indian ADR, it's the same story. On Tuesday night, only Wipro closed mild positive. Other than that, ICC Bank, Infosys and HDFC Bank increased by over 1%. At the same time last night, again Wipro was the same, but the other three were negative. ICC Bank and HDFC Bank dropped around 1% and Infosys was down by 0.4%. And if we calculate the arbitrage, ICIC Bank, HDFC Bank and Wipro all indicating 1% negative, whereas only Infosys was neutral to negative. So overall, ADR indicating a negative opening. However, Reliance Industries GDR was 0.77% positive compared to Indian market close. Regarding oil, I don't know why, but it increased around 1%. At the time of this video, WT crude trading around 81.5 US dollars per barrel, whereas Brent crude trading at 85 US dollars per barrel. So this is what happened in the global market. Now let's move to new India related info. First about HDFC Bank, on Tuesday after the Indian market close, Moody's released the HDFC Bank's credit rating that they were maintaining the BAA3 rating with stable outlook. This is mildly positive, so we can expect the Indian market today to react for it. Second, on a wider macro level, IMF increased India's GDP forecast for the current financial year to 7% from the earlier 6.8%. After that, RBI also increased the India's GDP forecast from earlier 7% to 7.2%. So in the span of one day, two agencies upgraded India's projected GDP growth rate, which I believe is the reason why Gift Nifty crossed 24,750 early yesterday morning. Third about quarterly results, Asian paints delivered a terrible results like on yearly basis their profit dropped 20%, margin down by over 4% and the revenue also dropped 2.3%. On the other hand, if record, please pause and have a look. LNT Finance and LNT Mine Tree posted a good results. So for this, all three quarterly results, market will be reacting to it. 
Fourth, yesterday TRAA released the May month India's telecom subscription report. As per that, Airtel added 12.5 lakh new customers. Reliance Jio added near 22 lakhs new customers, while Vodafone Idea lost 9.25 lakh subscribers. Here, simply put, Airtel increased its new addition share, but Jio was still a major beneficiary despite a percentage share decrease. Either way, all three telecom companies will be on focus today. Finally, about FII, for the ninth day in the last 10 trading sessions, FIs were net buyers. On Tuesday, the net bought for 1,200 crore rupees, whereas DIs net sold for 530 crore rupees. As a summary, global momentum is deteriorated now since even for US market, yesterday Goldman Sachs and Bank of America warned their investors and customers that US market is in overbought condition, so they don't recommend buying on dip. In line with that, ADR arbitrage is showing around 1% negative, but for some reason, that negativity was not reflected in GIF Nifty, which is currently indicating just flat to negative, not a significant gap down. About the things to look out, Infosys, LNT Tech, Seat, Havels India, Central Bank of India, South Indian Bank and Dharmia Bharat are some of the major Indian companies with earnings results are still released today. In terms of macroeconomic data, during market hours at 11.30 am, UK's unemployment rate is due, then in the aftermarket hours around 6 pm, Europe's interest rate decision. Finally, in the night, various US related data such as number of house sales, Philadelphia Manufacturing Index and the usual weekly job insurance claims are some of the important items we need to keep an eye out today. Coming to technical, on Tuesday, Nifty opened 55 points gap up and reached an intraday all-time high 24,661, then had some consolidation but still closed above 24,600. Thus, on the daily chart, Nifty formed a doji pattern with continuing higher high and higher low formation for the third consecutive session. So, the momentum is good but still the formation of doji pattern at new high is not a good Good sign indicates the deterioration of bias and with small range movement it could possibly indicating a reversal which maybe we might confirm today hence going forward if nifty sustains above 24500 it is likely to move towards its next target of 24900 with crucial support at 24300 in case of bank nifty it opened 80 points gap up was in the range bound and closed at around 52400 thus on the daily chart bank nifty formed a small bearish candlestick pattern with an upper shadow indicating selling pressure at higher level so at present it looks like bank nifty has been stuck in the range between 52,000 to 52,800 zones. So, breaking on either side will define the respective momentum. Regarding the weekly options data, the maximum call option open interest was at 25,000 strike, followed by 24,700 and 24,900, with maximum new call option writing at 24,700 strike, followed by 25,000 and 24,800. On the put side, the maximum open interest was at 24,000 strike, followed by 24,500 and 24,300, with maximum maximum new put option writing at 24,600 strike followed by 24,000 and 24,300. Thus from options data, it indicates 24,500 is likely to be the immediate support with the next resistance at 24,700 to 24,800 zone. So that's all in this video. Hope you all got some useful information. Please consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video so it will help me beat the YouTube algorithm and also motivate me to do more. Please don't make any investment decision based on this as I'm not a savvy research advisor. I'm doing this for me and viewers educational purpose only. Thanks for watching.